Good morning. Welcome back to the shop. Look what we got in the mail today from Acme Tools. The new... There it is. Oh, kind of heavy. The new Milwaukee pruner hatchet M12 fuel. I don't know why I bought this. I, well, I'll tell you why I bought it. Is because we like to take the side by side out and I always have you know something in there to cut firewood um, when we go camping or for like a late night ride and I thought this would be perfect for that but I don't know now all right Isn't that cute? Okay, so um, I don't know what I expected. I guess it's a little bigger than I expected, but it recommends using the four amp power battery, which we have. Throw that in there. Um, God, that's cute. So that's an Oregon six inch bar. Um, it does have an oil reservoir on it. Boy, that is smooth. Anyways, I'm not here to give you a bunch of specs and all that crap. Let's just see how it performs and what it can do because, you know, like I said, I think it's gonna fit perfect in the back of the side-by-side. -side. Here's what I usually take. I usually just take my reciprocating saw with a pruning blade on it. Um, you know, I usually take the blade out when I put it in the back of the machine, but I don't know, they're really kind of the same size. Let's just see which one works better. You know, I don't, the, the more I thought about it, the more I thought that this might be like a gimmick. I, you know, I can't imagine it working better, um, you know, than a pruning blade on the reciprocating saw, but <clears throat> it's pretty neat. I mean, it says it'll cut up to three inch. It's got little um, bucking spikes on it. Um, actual go-to saw that I'll usually take if I know we're going for a couple days is the Ego. Now that thing is really impressive. That thing is awesome. We'll usually take it and that'll cut up quite a bit of firewood for us on one battery. And that's another thing is I don't know how long this little M12 4.0 is going to last, but we don't cut much wood for day trips, you know, just a few limbs and branches just to make a quick campfire. So let's go put a little oil in it and uh, get to cut and see how she performs against you know the reciprocating so So I've bucked up a piece of wood here in the vise, wood buck, whatever you want to call it. This is about the maximum size log. I mean, that's about a four inch piece of wood, but that's about as big as I'm gonna cut when we're out riding for firewood anyways. It's usually something this size or maybe a little bit smaller. But um, yeah, this is the very first cut. Let's see how it does. I guess it's about what I expected. I mean, it's number one thing I noticed is how smooth it is. <laughs> My God, it's just smooth, cute, quiet. Let's cut another one. Um, the bucking spikes, they. I didn't think they would really do much, but they really grab pretty good for what they are. That's two good cuts. Four. 
are making coasters. All right, let's um, let's see how it does compared to reciprocating saw. Got a brand new carbide tip Diablo pruning blade. And like I said, this is usually what I use, but let's see how it does. At first, I wasn't sure I was going to like this, but now that I remember how much this really shakes and pulls you back and forth, and it's not much faster, probably about the same speed, I guess, but this really just shakes the hell out of everything. I mean, move my vice around. Let's cut another coaster. Okay, well I like it. I mean it is, it's got plenty of power, more power than I thought it would, and it's just so smooth. That's what I like about it. Man, let's cut another one. This is, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Bits and giggles. <laughs> Anyways, you're not here to see that. You're here to see this, and um, it comes with a little screwdriver tool to adjust and tighten the blade. A um, little bit of oil, so that that's the only downside I can really see is putting in the back of the side by sides. Now I got to carry oil with it and. Um, it does kind of make a mess. You can see it's already starting leaking. So <sighs> maybe Milwaukee will have a case for it. I don't know. Do they have a case um, with the kit? I don't know. Or maybe I can just put it in a tool bag with a towel or something to keep it from leaking oil all over the place. But well, there it is. Um, first test of the Milwaukee Fuel Hatchet Pruner. Um, a little six inch organ blade. These blades are uh, only about ten dollars, so I don't even know if I'd waste my time sharpening it when it got dull I'll probably just keep one or two in the bag as cheap as they are and just swap the blade out But anyways, so yeah when I bought it. I thought it was gonna be a gimmick. I wasn't real happy I was like man, why'd I spend all that money, but now that I have it I really like it Thanks for watching <laughs>